Hi, I'm Scott Hebbard from Spark Systems. Today I'll show you how to make more meaningful business decisions based on simulating a business process model. Let's discuss the problem that we are hoping to solve today. We shall model and simulate how a business runs, decide how to restructure a business process, and identify the optimal resourcing to reduce customer wait times. On screen we have a simple business process model. Simulation allows us to make changes and explore the impact of those changes safely without having to interrupt the operation of the business. Simulations allow you to modify variables, alter probabilities or adjust resourcing to observe the impact that different decisions may have on your business. Enterprise Architect produces convenient reports that outline the impact on variables such as wait time, staff utilisation and processing time. Enterprise Architect can automatically generate charts to compare and contrast simulation results in a visual format. This webinar will use two different business process models to explore concepts such as resourcing, distribution, validation, probability, attributes, report generation and charting. Imagine the owner of a car repair shop has modelled his business process in Enterprise Architect. He would like to run a simulation to improve resourcing, reduce customer wait times and examine factors that impact revenue such as rejected quotes, phone support and resourcing levels. The advantage of using Enterprise Architect is he can experiment with various options without interrupting the operation of the business. Let's step through the process of simulation in Enterprise Architect using the new BPSIM engine. Double click the BPSIM artifact to configure our simulation. I have docked the dialog on the right of screen to make it easier to read. The repair simulation scenario specifies a start date and a duration of 2 days and 12 hours. 60 hours in total devoted to car repair. Selecting the Customer Arrives node, you'll note that a new customer arrives every 24 minutes. As soon as the customer arrives, the mechanic generates an estimate or quote. Selecting the connector, Initial Estimate Accepted, will update the configuration dialog accordingly, indicating a probability of 67%. This parameter assigns a weighting to the connector so that when there is a choice of pass, the simulation will process that connector a fixed proportion of times. The two probabilities add up to 100% with a 33% chance that the quote is rejected. Enterprise Architect 12.1 also introduces support for validation. If you accidentally type 33 and then validate the model, Enterprise Architect will throw up an error indicating the appropriate range for the percentage must sit between 0 and 1. Now that we've conducted a validation, we can fix the problem and move on to looking at the sub-process for repair car. Let us examine the repair car subprocess in a little more detail. The first thing a mechanic does is inspect the vehicle for an issue. After inspecting the vehicle, there is a 35% probability that the mechanic will identify an additional issue that needs repair. After every new issue is found, the inspection needs to take place again. There is a 65% probability that no added issues are found and the mechanic can repair the issue at hand. We also track the number of issues found so that we can chart this information and include it in a report because the number of issues that need to be repaired has a direct impact on revenue for the shop and is extremely important to the business owner. Now that we've configured our simulation and understand the business process, let's move the dialog and run the simulation. Select Standard Simulation from the list provided and view the results. Over the 60 hours, 151 customers arrive at the shop. Of the 151 customers, 98 actually start repairs and proceed to accept payment. 
Of particular concern to the business owner is that 53 of the customers failed to accept the quote. The Attributes button allows us to examine the relevant attributes for each individual customer. For example, looking at customer number 5, the number of issues starts at 2, drops down and then additional issue is found. It eventually reduces to zero when all of the repairs have been conducted. However, for customer 88, the number of issues never changes from 5 because the initial quote is not accepted. Selecting the Open Results button will output all of the items of interest into a report as shown on screen. This report can assist with decision making because at a glance we can see how many quotes are rejected, how many issues have been found, how many customers make payment. The real advantage of Enterprise Architect is that we can take a simulation and experiment with changes and compare the reports side by side. So let's do that now. Now I shall run a what-if scenario where I can make changes to some of the probabilities of a quote being accepted to determine what impact this might have on the overall business. So instead of 67% acceptance, I'm going to increase that to 87%. Using Control c and Control shift v I can paste a new element and update the artifact accordingly. I can now alter the configuration of this new simulation by increasing the probability that a quote will be accepted from 67 to 87%. I can then reduce the probability that the quote is rejected by the corresponding amount. The purpose of this demonstration is to illustrate how a change to a probability, variable, resource or distribution may in fact impact the operation of the underlying business. I'm now free to run my simulation and compare the results. How does Enterprise Architect randomly identify the number of repair issues that each car may have? Enterprise Architect allows you to randomly produce this number using a standard set of distributions. As you can see, we've used a Poisson distribution with a mean of 3. However, it is very easy to make changes. Let's change the mean to 4 to see how this might impact our simulation. Now when we run the simulation a second time, we can see how our changes impact the results. Once again, we can look at the attributes for each individual customer. The change in distribution has significantly impacted the number of issues found in each car. For example, looking at customer number 5, we can see that the number of issues increases all the way up to 11 before returning to zero. This change in distribution might be explained with a common business situation, for example, car batteries in winter or air conditioning faults in summer. You can modify the distribution to reflect changing seasons or commonly understood business trends and then use simulation to analyze the results. When we open the results, we can drag the previous report on screen to highlight any differences between the two simulations. Looking at the report differences, we can see how many people move from repair car to accept payment, and it's gone from 98 to 126. So we can quickly adjust a simple business input such as quote acceptance to determine the impact that that may have on business operations. The report view allows us to quickly make comparisons between multiple reports and identify any important variances. Enterprise Architect can use charts to help visualize these differences, which in turn may aid our decision making process. I shall now select the BP Sim result chart from the toolbox to help visualize these results. Give the chart an appropriate name. Select the BP SIM chart tab in order to add a base report and then add a second report for comparison purposes. Select the items that you wish to display in your chart and click OK. For this particular example, we want to examine the number of quotes not accepted and the number of repair processes completed 
as both of these variables impact revenue for the car repair shop and are crucial in our decision making process. In a matter of minutes we've created an easy to read chart that outlines the impact that quotes may have on business operation. Given the significant impact that quotes have on the business, the owner of the car repair shop has chosen to implement a help desk. The purpose of the help desk is to improve customer service and reduce the number of rejected quotes. The owner would like to use the simulation capabilities within Enterprise Architect to identify how many staff to hire, examining factors such as customer wait times and staff utilisation to help him make decisions about resourcing the new help desk. Let's imagine that we have seven customers in total. A new customer arrives every two minutes. Each customer typically spends 10 minutes on the phone discussing their quote. Originally, the owner was forced to use pen and paper to calculate wait times and utilisation. However, this approach took far too much time and was simply not scalable when customer numbers increased and became more realistic. Looking at the pen and paper example, the red section indicates the total customer wait time, blue time is spent serving the customer, and yellow represents the time when support is idle or waiting. Enterprise Architect can simulate this process Furthermore, we can create multiple experiments and conduct side-by-side -side comparisons that allow us to instantly make decisions. We can see that the seven tokens represent the seven different customers. If I produce a report on screen, I can see that the total time waiting for resource is 54 minutes. And the total time in task is 124 minutes. So we can very quickly get a detailed response that matches all of the results from our pen and paper example. One of the advantages of using Enterprise Architect is the ability to rapidly run experiments and test the impact that different scenarios may have on a business process, which in turn can aid decision making. For example, we can increase the number of customers or modify the call duration and instantly get results. So let's do that now. In our second experiment, we're going to have 20 customers, two support staff, a 10 minute call duration, and customers will arrive once every two minutes. If I open up the BP Sim artifact, we can see that all of these details are recorded. For example, processing time is 10 minutes. We can now run our simulation. Once again, the 20 tokens represent the 20 different customers. You'll note that the previous results also appear on screen. One of the advantages of using Enterprise Architect is it allows you to do side-by-side -side comparisons. So this time we're going to run the simulation again, but instead of having two support staff members, we're going to have three support staff members. If I show all the differences, I can see that the total time in task has decreased from 7.40 to 4.28. The total time waiting for a resource has dropped from 540 minutes to 228. I can look at the degree of utilisation and it's dropped from 98 to 93%. We can run multiple experiments and have them all on screen at once and make decisions. What have we learned? Well, we've learned how to configure a BPCM artifact. We've looked at how to create experiments, adjust probabilities, generate random distributions, run various simulations, compare and chart results, and finally make decisions based on the outcome of those results. To try out simulation for yourself, visit www.sparksystems.com. 
For more information about Enterprise Architect 12.1, please visit www.sparksystems.com.